Okay, we're running for a while now. So as I say, this is the um, Cheap's Chips um, MR100. Um, it's a Sark clone, obviously cheaper. Um, and uh, we've got many Sark, Sark 100, uh, GA60, MR100 data scan software. And this is the um, HF80 vertical, it's 19 foot pole pretty much, the 9 and one uh, barn at the bottom. Um, and as you can see there, I am with this kicking around, uh, certainly under two from uh, 40, 30, 20, 17. I'm surprised that uh, 15 is so high. Uh, I do quite well on that. It tunes all really well with the um, 7300 mind. And uh, let's have a look now at the uh, dipole. Get the whole thing working. Uh, switch it on like so. Um, not every um, power pack seemed to work for me. I had to swap around a bit. Um, I'm going to get any focus there at all. There we go. Um, so you can up and down um, using these here. Give you the kind of individuals. Um, or we can connect to the computer. And then just click connect. I'm on COM5 here. There we are, we're connected. Um, and that previous graphic was for the um, HF80 uh, vertical, which I've got attached to my gutter. Uh, and now I've got a uh, uh, G5SV uh, Junior. And uh, again, we will scan the um, entire HF band. So I will uh, come back because uh, it takes a wee while. And coming back and looking at the dipole, as you can see, uh, its performance is uh, certainly not as good um, as the vertical. Um, works well enough at 20 meters. Uh, always did. Uh, it was always uh, it was tunable um, around uh, 40 meters. 30 meters was always uh, uh, kind of poor to say the least. And uh, 21 and uh, uh, 15 meters and 17 meters. It uh, was never much good at all. It does, however, tune to uh, 10 meters, unlike the vertical. Um, but while I knew it from um, user experience, I hadn't quite appreciated just how poor um, that was. It used to be a little bit better, stuck it on the chimney next to a whole bunch of other crap that's up there as well. And uh, unsurprisingly, its performance dipped. Uh, but this is scanning the whole uh, of the HF band, uh, and you can, of course, just scan portions of it. Here we have the same dipole doing the uh, 6 meters, uh, which again uh, I can use it on. It works pretty well on uh, 6 meters. Again the vertical doesn't do that. Um, of course if I swap across uh, pressing my magic buttons and switches um, to an actual uh, 6 meter that uh, vertical that I have up there, uh, you can see that the performance is very much different. What was interesting though, um, again working with this, uh, I've only had it today but I've already learned a, a whack of stuff that I wasn't quite uh, aware of, was um, I also put up at the same time a 15 meter uh, dipole which used to work quite well. Um, but if we click to that just now and then stick it on uh, 15 meters and then start the scan um, we can see that its performance is shocking. I'm not quite sure what's happened there. It didn't used to be as bad as that. It was actually um, pretty usable. Um, so there's clearly some damage going on there, whether it's coax or it relates to the switch box. Um, but useful stuff. Useful stuff. Um, and as I say, um, the wee doohickey itself um, costs less than... A 50 quid, I think it actually cost me less than 40, I think it was uh, 35 uh, 35.99 or something like that with shipping. Uh, and you wait for the usual uh, three weeks for it to arrive. Uh, well worth a punt though, I would say. And uh, it's given you a whole bunch of data that uh, I wouldn't have had otherwise. And uh, very much appreciate.